This video is on the many technologies that you can use to enjoy streaming music. And the great news is that you probably have everything that we're gonna talk about here. It just comes down to knowing the best method to use that already exists on your smartphone. So let's say you wanna hear a new song from your favorite band on your pair of powered speakers that you just upgraded to. Well, what will be the best way to get the music from your phone to those speakers? Well, this video is gonna be about giving you the pros and cons of all of the possible ways. Now, it is possible your speakers or system will not have all of the technologies available to receive music, but at least after watching this video, you will know which one is best and compatible with your gear. And before we begin, if you do enjoy this video, we'd greatly appreciate it if you gave the video a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications so you never Never miss out on any of our latest content. First up is Bluetooth. Bluetooth is by far the most well-known and used of all audio transmission technologies. All you do is find your component in the list and pair it to it. This usually involves a one-time pairing process, but once you've done it, the component will always show up on your list of devices. Bluetooth is used all the time to pair headphones with smartphones and tablets. And in those cases, it is likely the only way to send music wirelessly to them. Your smart speaker, powered speakers, or streaming component probably also have Bluetooth for a simple connection. And since Bluetooth does not ride on your Wi-Fi network, it also comes in really handy when there's no network connection available. You may have your portable music speaker at a campground with zero service, but you can still use Bluetooth to send your music to your speaker from your smartphone. In addition, Bluetooth will also support multiple devices receiving the signal, but how well that works will depend on your smartphone. This comes into play if you have more than one Bluetooth speaker in your home, or you want music in more than one room, or if you wanna share your music with a friend nearby wearing a pair of Bluetooth headphones. Now, if you have an iPhone, you will be limited to one connection via Bluetooth, while Android phones vary from about two to five. Another thing to keep in mind here is that Bluetooth does have a range limitation, but for most phones, it can be up to around 100 feet away, so it's unlikely you're gonna run into some range issues unless you're outside and you wander away from your speaker with your phone. So with all of this said, Bluetooth is super easy to use and it's widely supported. It's often the very first connection method that many people use and think of. Before we move on, I think it's important that I add that initially Bluetooth was known for less than ideal audio quality as the signal was pretty compressed. Qualcomm, the people behind Bluetooth, they continue to develop new and improved versions with the latest being Aptex lossless. This latest codec supports 96 kilohertz, although the bitrate will scale dynamically from 279 kilobits per second up to 860. But the really awesome feature is the lossless transmission at CD quality or 16-bit 44.1 kilohertz over classic Bluetooth. The bitrate will scale between 1100 kilobits per second and 1200 kilobits per second, which is a little lower than CD quality files 1411 kilobits per second, but Qualcomm has worked their magic to make sure that there's no data lost when audio is encoded and decoded with Aptex lossless. While this is a pretty neat and is a huge feat for Qualcomm, the devices that support this are still really limited. Hopefully this will become more standard in the future, but for now we see most devices still using Aptex HD and Aptex Adaptive, which are more compressed and limited in its stream. While these are nowhere near what it takes to replicate full CD quality, much less high resolution audio, for most portable speakers, headphones, and a lot of powered speakers, these will be just fine. The next option for streaming is Apple AirPlay. Apple introduced AirPlay 1 in 2010 and AirPlay 2 came out in 2018, whose big advantage was the support of more than one device at the same time. Both versions use your Wi-Fi network, so anywhere that you are in range, it should work. If you have an iPhone, streaming music to compatible devices typically is a snap as you just touch the AirPlay icon and all of your compatible devices will pop right up. One con here is that sometimes you have to enter in a code to connect to your device. But one pretty cool pro here is if you have an Apple TV connected to your audio system via HDMI, if you choose the Apple TV, it will turn on the system and select the right input. For iPhone users, AirPlay is a very easy way to go. Android users are somewhat left out, but there are some third-party apps that you can purchase that allow Android phones to use AirPlay to get music to your Apple speakers or headphones if you wish. 
Now, since AirPlay depends on your wireless network, the number of devices you can stream to might depend on the stability of your network. For most people, two to three should be no problem, but you might have some limitations once you go above four. We did test one really large home with a great network, and we got up to six with no issues. Of course, in the average home, you would probably not hit that limit anyways. And as we said earlier, the range of AirPlay is limited to your Wi-Fi network, so for portable speakers you might use outside, you probably just wanna go back to Bluetooth. But what about AirPlay audio quality? This is where it gets really interesting. AirPlay can do lossless audio at CD quality, but it depends on a few things. When we were doing our testing and research for this a few months ago, we found some music services used AirPlay 1 and some use AirPlay 2. For example, Spotify and Cobuzz use AirPlay 1 and Tidal uses AirPlay 2. An iPhone is gonna use AirPlay 2 to send the signal and some receiving devices might use AirPlay 1 or AirPlay 2 to receive the signal. If your streaming services, phone and speaker receiving the music are all AirPlay 2, you will not get CD quality streaming, but any of the other combinations will. Now also do bear in mind that while AirPlay can sound better than Bluetooth, the signal is still traveling through the electronics in your phone before it gets out to your music device. Next up is Chromecast. Chromecast was developed by Google and it has a lot of advantages. It is widely available and can be found on both Apple and Android smartphones. Chromecast uses your Wi-Fi network to send commands, but it is vastly different from AirPlay in that with Chromecast, you are just directing the stream. In other words, Chromecast just tells your device to pull your requested music content directly from the content provider servers through your network, and the signal never goes through your phone. And you will find a wide variety of audio products that are compatible with Chromecast, but as of this video, there are probably more that just have AirPlay. So when it comes to how many devices you can stream with using Chromecast, there seems to be no limit. Of course, your network still has to be able to handle all of those streams, so similar to AirPlay, it will be network dependent. Also, just like AirPlay, Chromecast uses your home network and can talk to other devices within its range. So we think Chromecast technically wins here as it can support 2496 and does not send music through your phone at all. However, we do think it will take a darn good set of speakers to distinguish the differences between CD quality AirPlay stream and Chromecast. But just for good measure, if your system does support Chromecast, why not just use it instead of AirPlay? Our favorite music app, Cobuzz, supports both options, but it's one less click to use Chromecast, and just like AirPlay, it will wake up the device that you're sending it to. In our testing, we also found it to be a little less finicky as well. All right, if you've gotten this far, you probably care about your audio quality. Almost all audio separate components with streaming built in will have their own app that allows you to control the unit. Now we feel that this is probably the very best way to go if your streamer is set up to use the music streaming service that you enjoy. This way, the app works like Chromecast where it tells your streamer to receive this signal. And the only limitation is the streamer itself. If your unit supports 24192, you'll be able to stream high-res audio easily, which takes you beyond the limit of Chromecast. Now, it's possible your device does not support the music service that you like, and in that case, you would need to revert to Chromecast or AirPlay if you wanna use it. And finally, there are two other options similar to Chromecast from two popular services. These are called Tidal Connect and Spotify Connect. Both of these work just like Chromecast, but in the case of Tidal Connect, you can enjoy 24192 high-res audio and Tidal MQA should you wish to still use the Tidal app. And we surely hope that one day Spotify will reveal their high-resolution streaming option that they've been talking about since 2021. Being the world's most popular streaming service, it would be super cool to see this come out, especially since they already have the connect method available. So we are waiting eagerly for that to come out. Now, the method that you will choose will ultimately come down to what is most convenient for you and the quality of your audio gear. Now, I'd love to know what you use on a day-to-day -day basis and what your preferred method is and why. So leave a comment down below and let us know. So if you have a pair of basic powered speakers, Bluetooth may be just fine, but we would suggest at least testing with AirPlay or Chromecast. But for those of you with higher end separate music streamers from the likes of Blue Sound, NAD, Eversolo, Hi-Fi Rose, Name, and the many others, we highly recommend that you use the app for your device as that will get you the best high quality sound and in some cases, maybe the only way to get 24192 high res audio to your device. Now, if you have further questions about streaming or streaming services or anything audio or video related, 
interested, just contact our experts via chat, phone, or email. Or simply visit one of our world-class showrooms to experience speakers, projectors, TVs, and everything in between for yourself before you make your next purchase. And to support us in making more videos just like these, we hope you'll consider your next purchase to be from Audio Advice. We offer free shipping, lifetime expert support, and our price guarantee. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications so you never miss out on any of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.